Apt version 3.0 is coming soon, and it's bringing with it a snazzy new user interface. If you're unfamiliar, Apt is the package management tool used on Debian-based distros such as Ubuntu. So, what does this version bring? It introduces colors and a layout that indicates much more clearly the changes being made to your system. The packages and their dependencies being installed are shown in green in this dedicated section right here. Suggested packages are shown below, and at the end, there's a nice summary of the effect this would have on your system. It will warn you if you don't have enough space left on your computer to install the packages you want, even checking the slash boot partition if you install packages that need to go in there, such as new Linux kernels. This update, by the way, is one of the reasons why apt prints a warning when you try to pipe its output to another command or a file. The output of the apt command will change with this update, so let this be a reminder to use apt-get, apt-cache, apt-list, and those kinds of commands if you really need to use them in a script, because their output is stable. But why am I talking about this update? Sure, it's nice, but is it really that significant? Well, yes, I think so. One of the problems of Linux on the desktop is the learning curve required to use your system effectively without breaking anything. Beginners are often told to run certain commands without really understanding what's happening when they run them. See Linus's, no, not that one, experience when installing Steam on Pop! OS a few years ago. I will definitely need Steam. Failed to install Steam. Morning, you are trying to remove the following essential packages. What are, you, what are you talking about? I've done nothing with this other than install that hard info thing. This is stupid. Apparently, this is the solution. And I have to type, yes, do as I say, in order to install it. And maybe it will install and launch now. What is the point of having a... Oh. He clearly thought that this output from the apt command is a normal, expected part of running it. I think that... Part of the reason for that is the sheer density of information presented in the old version of apt. I mean, let's be honest here, it's just a huge wall of text, especially so when the package being installed has many dependencies. So it makes sense that users will never stop to actually read the information that the command is telling them. And even for power users, I mean, how many of you actually read the output of the apt install command? I know I don't. I usually just type the package I want to install, and as long as it doesn't error, I don't really care about the wall of text it prints on screen. So it's nice to see that, even for power users, this will make their job a whole lot easier. Which brings me to another point about open source software and Linux on the desktop. I think the user interface just generally isn't considered that much in many open source applications. I mean, consider something like GIMP, where it has a user interface where some things are just absolutely ridiculous, like try drawing a circle in GIMP. For many open source tools, it seems like the developers consider features and stability and usability by power users specifically that already understand the flow to be the only things that matter. And for new users, well, they'll just have to get up to speed and you know what, that's just part of the learning experience. And I think that's one of the things holding back Linux on the desktop is that kind of attitude and the poor usability that results from it. That's why I really like to see changes like this that make it easier for the average user to understand the information being presented to them, and so they can actually learn how to use the tool on their own. I think that'll go a long way towards making Linux on the desktop more accessible for people. This version of apt is currently available on Debian Unstable, though it's called 2.9.0 as it's still in development and isn't ready for prime time just yet. If you're running Debian Unstable, simply updating your system, with apt itself of course, should let you use the new version. Ubuntu users will have to wait most likely until 24.10, as unfortunately it's not stable enough at this point to include in the upcoming 24.04 LTS. It might even get delayed beyond 24.10, but I think that's unlikely, as it seems to be on track. And I guess I'll do the usual YouTube thing. Are there any other tools that you think could use a UI rework like this? Let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching.